don't worry, the process of morphing into mobs is only slightly, extremely excruciating. <laughs> Ow. Hello everybody, I'm Kindly Kian and welcome back to Minecraft. As you can see, things are not quite the way they normally are. I'm a mushroom. What if I told you that this guy is one of many, many secret mobs that we've added to Minecraft? But not only that, as you can see, we can morph into them. I happened to find this mushroom biome and I'm so happy that I did because the shroomling guys are like really, really cute. Look at them. Oh, he can fly. Well, that's because I'm in creative. Let's just go ahead and transform back into our human form. Oh, always a very pleasant experience. It seems so painful. And as you guys probably remember from when we played the morph mod, in order to morph into creatures, you have to absorb their essence by killing them. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what? What? This is a different type of shroomling. Get over here. Don't run from me. How dare you? Coward. Oh, no. So now I can become a mushroom, which is weird. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know what these things special abilities are, but I mean, do they need a special ability? They, they grow mushrooms out of their heads. As you can see, we now have a variation of the shroomling. However, I don't know what button to press in order to become the other shroomling. I've tried pretty much every button on my keyboard and I cannot figure it out. No, oh, I just deleted it. Wait, what? You can delete? Okay, apparently you can delete the different mobs that you've absorbed. That, I mean, that's great to know. Now I know. Let's go find some more crazy new mobs. And of course, I'm gonna do it as a, as a mushroom, because why not? So apparently there's goblins in caves. That seems pretty cool, but like we need to find a, a cave. That would be very helpful. Look at all those little guys. <laughs> So many on this island. It's crazy. Ooh, I found a jungle biome. I don't know if there's new mobs in the jungle biome, but you know, let's do a little searching. I see a lot of sheep. Not so new. Oh my gosh, I think I see something. Um, t hello? T-Pos? What is this guy doing? Okay, I'm not sure what this guy is called, but he is a tree and he seems angry and also very big. Oh wait, I'm a mushroom. I forgot that I'm a mushroom right now. Uh, let's go back to my normal height just to compare. I mean, he's still pretty tall, but uh, d hello? Oh my gosh, what are you? I guess the only way to find out what you are is to, to kill you and I'm, I'm kind of sorry. <laughs> I've absorbed the essence of tree man. Jungle tree stalker. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Okay. This is what I am now. Fear me. Does he do anything? He doesn't do anything. He doesn't have any special abilities. That's kind of sad. That's okay. I am now a jungle tree stalker. I mean, I am tall. Got that going for me. Okay. So apparently there are variations of the tree stalkers. There's actually six different types, all based on different types of trees, which is awesome. Actually, I think since we're in creative mode, why don't we just spawn them? Because it would be really hard to find all of them. There's oak, birch, spruce, dark oak, acacia, and jungle. We've only found jungle. There's still five more that we need to find, and that seems like a nightmare. So I am just going to use spawn eggs to create them and see them in all of their glory. I don't know if they all look different or they all act different. I imagine like they all have different textures, right? Because all the trees have... Oh, wait, this is a secret mob. This is a goat. <laughs> the greatest of all time. You hear him? Talk to me, goat. Reminds me of those, <laughs> those goat screaming compilation videos. Oh, you guys know what I'm talking about. Ah! That was my impression of a goat. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google goat screaming. Anyways, um, I feel bad doing this, but I'm gonna because I need to become you. <laughs> oh, man. We're about to watch a tree turn into a goat because that's a thing that we can do in this mod, and it's very cool. <laughs> I'm a goat! Oh my gosh. Step aside, goat simulator. There's a new goat in town. All right, I'm staying a goat because he makes goat noises while I just kind of fly around. But let's just find a nice open spot. Actually, the top of this mountain was, was perfectly fine. This is a good open spot. Well, uh, maybe it's not because there's a lot of cliffs. Let's go find a nice open spot. Here we go. And we're going to spawn some of these tree stalkers. Check them out. What a creepy name, though. Could you imagine you're just walking through a forest you think you're looking at a tree and it ends up being a tree stalker he's like i've been watching you creepy man back off 
weirdo. All right, I have one of each of the tree stalkers. Let's uh, take a look at this one. What, wait, what were you? Oak tree, hello, hi. You look very similar to the one that we just we just saw. Oh, okay, that's, a, that's an acacia, right? Yeah, that's acacia, you can tell, because he's got like orange insides. Just kind of weird. Actually, he's hollow. Are you guys okay? They just constantly look like they're having a great time. They're just constantly on a roller coaster going down a drop. Ah! Cool dudes. Uh, let's see Birch. Oh, Birch is cool. He looks like a Dalmatian. It's the Dalmatian of tree stalkers. And then Spruce. Tough guy, huh? All right. And then Dark Oak. You look almost exactly the same as Spruce. I like how they're just talking to each other. How did we end up here? I don't know. Can't help but notice there's no trees around here. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I guess we're the only trees. And then finally, the jungle tree stalker, which we've already seen, but there he is with, with his arms way up in the air. I love it. Now the question is, will these dudes attack me if I go back into survival? Let's find out. Oh gosh, okay, yep, 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 yep. Okay, I'm a goat, I'm a goat, I'm an innocent goat. S stop chasing me, please. Okay, this is very scary. So I will fight back. I will fight for my life. Oh no, oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, this poor goat. Slain by a spruce tree stalker. But I like the idea of just being killed by a tree. Am I still a goat? <laughs> I respond as a goat. I love it. Our journey continues. I actually, I really want to find a desert because there is something out in the desert that seems really cool and I want to become one because I can. Oh, we found a uh, mesa biome. Is that what this is? Does this count as desert? It does because there's the thing I was looking for. Oh my gosh. Hello. Hey, hey guys, stop being so shy. I want to, I want to see you. This is a cactus. Yeah, it's tortoise, but it's cactus and apparently it, it it does hurt you like the spikes on their backs work just like cactus but because i'm in creative mode they didn't hurt me let's go into survival mode. ow ow okay 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 i get it i get it you're pokey i need a diamond sword because i'm gonna murder this cactus get over here i must become you and the only way to do that is to kill you which i feel kind of bad about <laughs> they drop cactus <laughs> that's pretty funny cactus morph engage <laughs> Love it. So here's the question, though. Um, if I walk into other uh, creatures, will will I hurt them? I've gone back into survival mode, and I'm gonna just see if I can. I, I'm not hurting you, but I have a but I have pokies. I'm literally a cactus turtle. Why? Okay, maybe it doesn't work in water. I don't know. Am I immune to pokies now? Nope. Definitely not. Okay, I've been lied to. I'm deeply disappointed in not being able to poke you guys and you guys being able to poke me. Rude. So now there are some like really, really rare secret mobs that are going to be really hard to find. So I think I'm just going to go back into creative mode and spawn some of them. Although I do want to go to the nether because the nether has some cool things that we need to find. But look at this guy. Stone Golem. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. Cool. So apparently this guy is immune to fire and fall damage, does extreme amounts of damage, and basically you don't want to make him mad. And they are aggressive. So if I go into survival, um, he will attack me. Let's let's do it anyways. Hey, come at me, bro. Oh gosh. You almost killed me. And okay, we we need to just, just just play it cool, play it cool. I hope that there's not something behind me. Oh gosh, okay, there's of course cactus turtles poking me. Because that's that's what I need in my life right now. Oh, I did it, I did it, and they drop stone brick. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes sense, because that's pretty much what he was made out of. Oh, man. Let's become a stone golem. <laughs> this is so cool. I love this mod. It's so cool. There I am. Just an angry dude made of stone. Probably mad because he's made of stone. I like I like my hand. Can I just punch stuff? Stone golem smash. What? Your, your pokey's still hurt. I'm made of rock. How can pokies hurt me? These cactoids, they're truly the strongest mob in the game ever. Very scary. I'm going back into creative mode where I'm safe. You know what we got sidetracked from doing, though? We didn't go down into um, a cave to look for the goblins. I would love to find some goblins. So, uh, wow. Okay. I actually found a cave pretty quickly. Oh, this is a crazy cavern. Hello? Any uh, goblins hanging out around here? Goblins? Hello? Goblins? Does this go further down? This might actually be the end. I don't know if it goes any deeper. I hear bats. It's kind of hard to navigate with this giant golem body. He's a little clunky, but that's okay. Cause you know, he's a giant stone golem. Let's uh, let's dig down a little bit further. See if we can find another cave system. Well, I found bedrock and no caves. 
feels bad, man. I made it back to the surface. Let's, um, let's do a little bit more hunting. Let's see if we can find a proper cavern. It is getting dark, kind of scary. There's a lot of islands in this world, I'm noticing. Also just a pool of lava. I found a mine. Um, maybe we'll find what we're looking for here. I don't know. I need to transform back into my human form. It's kind of annoying being the golem. He's too big. Hello, goblin, goblin, no spiders. Cave spiders. Well, I'm completely lost in this mine, and I have not seen any goblins. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna spawn one. Goblin, there he is. Also, apparently trolls spawn in caves. So I wanna see what those guys are about. Troll, hello? Oh, oh, you're a big boy. Okay, I couldn't tell at first because he was standing sideways. Hey, hey, I'm over here. You hear this guy? Mouth breather. Hey, you're going down because I'm going to become you. That's right. Dang, this guy is tough. That was a lot of hits from a diamond sword. I would not want to get on a troll's bad side, but I would like to become one. Why? Because I can. Look at me. I'm a troll now. That's right. I'm in my rightful place on the internet and probably in the comment section of this video. This is really cool. Uh, let's see the goblin. Goblin, where are you at? Oh, oh. Uh -huh. sound like, he kind of sounds like a villager. I like it. Hey, it's me, your best friend, troll. Uh-huh, yes. I'm sorry that I have to murder you, but I want to become you. We didn't even get to see the front of the goblin. Okay, wait, but now we can, because, you know, we can we can be him. Uh -huh. Now I understand why they sound like villagers. They, they pretty much look like villagers. Just They're green and they got pointy ears. I like it. I like this a lot. Okay, but now we need to go to the nether. So I'm gonna build a nether portal. This goblin is going somewhere no goblin has gone before, I think. I don't know, maybe goblins live in the nether, but he's going. Okay, we made it and immediately fell down. That was cool. Look at where our nether portal landed. That's really messed up. If I was in a proper survival game, I'd be mad, like really mad. All right, let's go look for some new mobs. Oh, there's, there's a group of them right there. Look at them. Yeah, they're eyeballs and they are disgusting. <laughs> I don't know if these guys are aggressive, but I don't really want to test it out because pretty much everything in the nether is aggressive, right? It all wants to kill you. Oh, wait, there's another, there's another one. Th th this is a magma snail. Look at him. Gary, is that you? You've changed so much. This is Gary's angry brother, Larry. That was a real character from SpongeBob, wasn't it? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm going to kill this thing, but only because I want to become it, right? We can still get along. Magma snail, go. <laughs> This guy is really cool looking. He, he looks kind of just really bored. I do the same thing every day. Just crawl around here, look at lava and fire, talk to a couple pigmen, but they don't really hold conversations because all they really care about is gold. It's awful down here. One day I'll go to the overworld. One day. Also, uh, let's become a flying eyeball, which is truly disgusting and also awesome. Get over here. Come here. Okay. All right. I've absorbed your essence and now I'm going to become you. I'm already a flying snail, but what's better than a flying snail than a flying eyeball, which is literally what it's called. I had no idea, but I mean, it does make sense. Oh my goodness. What a disgusting addition to the game. Reminds me of Terraria right? You play Terraria. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, but there are other mobs in the nether. I just, I don't know where exactly, but we're gonna hunt them down, see if we can find them naturally, and if we can't, then, you know, I'll probably just spawn them. <gasps> uh, I think I found what I was looking for. Um, yep, yep, okay, this is a hornet hive. Uh-huh, yeah, that's a thing in the game, and there are hornets inside of it, of course. Oh my gosh. Oh, Oh my god. This would be instant death if I went into survival mode, but I kind of also want to know what happens. So first, before I go into survival mode, let's just kill one and and see what it's like to be a hornet. I'm already a flying eyeball. It's so yesterday, now it's time to be a hornet. Look at me go. What a cool design. But the buzzing, the buzzing is real scary. Apparently there's also like a hornet larva. Hold on, let's, let's see if we can verify this. Maybe they're in the hive. Oh, I don't want to be here. Oh, that buzzing is real bad. Also, am I getting poisoned? Poisoned? I think I'm just getting poisoned. Yeah, I'd probably be super dead right now if I was in survival. Gosh, it sounds like I'm standing next to a helicopter. I don't see any larva, but there are supposed to be larva in these in these hives, but apparently um, not in this one. I don't know. Maybe they all hatched. I mean, there are a lot of hornets in here, but that's pretty much it for the nether. So 
you know, I think I'm going to accept my fate and, um, and go into survival mode. I'm gonna go back to my normal human form. Very boring. Kian form. And we're just gonna go back into survival. So, I only have one health. <laughs> I hit once and was instantly killed. Which makes sense, because I only had one heart. Okay, I'm back on the overworld, back in creative mode. There is one more creature that we have to find. This one's gonna take some work though. We have to get to the end. Let's go find the end portal. So I have been looking all over the place for the actual end portal. I found the end dungeon cave area, but I can't actually find the portal and I'm losing my mind. And unfortunately, I'm also running out of time. So I think I'm just going to have to spawn this mythical creature and then kill it and then become it. But it's cool. Say hello to Martin. He's an ender beast and um, he, he looks real, real grumpy. Let's get more Martins here. <laughs> oh my gosh. This dude looks so cool. Um, let's see what he does to me if I go into survival. He bite. He, the Martin bite. Okay. Okay. Back off. Wait, I need to absorb you. Stop, please. Can we talk about this? Please stop. Please stop chasing me. I spawned. I spawned too many Martins. No, he killed me. But now we must become Martin. Everybody's favorite ender beast. He's so cool. It's like a enderman and a lizard combined. Very, very cool. It should only hurt a lot. I am ender beast. Hear me roar. Roar. This was a lot of fun. If you guys want to check out these mods, there will be links in the description down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye to Martin.